Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon Ultimate Animal Collection and we are carrying on our adventures. I have to say I am pretty tickled with ourselves because we did manage to get the gold giraffe statue in the last campaign. Where it's hiding I have literally no idea though. I haven't quite figured out where to find the statues we have been unlocking but I am pretty curious to go ahead and take another poke at the campaign mode or the training mode. Pretty sure it's campaign mode that is going to have those unique items that we can use in our challenge in sandbox zoos And I am still learning quite a bit about how to play the game even all these episodes in Last time we finally added in alpaca and I started messing around with editing some of the terrains with the zoo beautification efforts It was really fun actually and I'm kind of super excited to go ahead and see what other scenarios there are So we did the back to nature Nature one last time getting our gold giraffe statue unlocked which is pretty exciting and there's a zoo inspection in Alaska which would result in the animal rehab scenario being unlocked and we could get the gold elephant fountain uh, let's see can I select the ones a little bit eh, eh, okay okay can't get that one hang on then there's also the photo ooh, a photo sensitive challenge with a vine dan dining a vine dining I thought it said vine dancing scenario and I was was gonna be like oh my gosh I have no idea what's going on but if it has anything to do with dancing with vines I want to do it you might sense a little bit of the hula dancer that my grandmother was a world famous hula dancer actually she traveled a lot during World War II uh, with her her troop as she called it and did hula dancing for the troops um, during World War II so maybe that's why I like the idea of dancing with vines so much but a gold peacock statue also sounds amazing not to mention it wants us to to adopt a peafowl and a meerkat, which I don't think we have done yet, and build mini exhibits for each of the animals. Wait, what? Satisfy the needs of all the animals, take photos of all the animals, and raise the zoo fame? Okay, that's the photo sensitive challenge, and that sounds amazing. We're probably gonna be doing that one. Uh, have I done the one in India? Why does it have a paw over it? Oh, because it's a normal level challenge and not easy. What? Oh, cool. And you get the gold hippo fountain, the landscape labyrinth, and a new sandbox zoo if we do that one. Oh, and we do have... Oh, we don't have vine dining. Oh, so we don't have vine dining unlocked. Well, I swear... Urgh, I can't reach it. Trees to meet you sounds amazing. There we go. Okay, we also have the kidding around... Uh, one unlocked that we can actually do, and it is a hard challenge for fame and fortune. It would give us a gold bear fountain and the origins of species scenario. <gasps> Be still, my Darwin-loving heart. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, and apparently our zoo would be mentioned by a pop star in a recent uh, review. So that could cause us a little bit of trouble, but it would be kind of fun to see. I think this time I can tell my heart is definitely set. Okay, if I can just select the right zoo please uh trees to meet you is locked kidding around wow wow there's a lot of different things like the animal rehab one would be really fun to see oh there's one down in brazil with a gold tortoise statue release a grizzly bear a red panda and a southern white rhino keep the guest number above six thousand what oh my gosh that sounds like it would be quite tricky all right hang on I'm gonna to try to go ahead. I want the photosensitive challenge for now. We're gonna go ahead and tackle that one this time because I think learning to build the mini exhibits means we will finally figure out how to add snakes and those kinds of creatures into our zoos. So let's do this. <sighs> brand new zoo. We have an hour to be able to complete this. That's going to be many, many days together, my friends. Ooh, and the East Coast appears to be a little bit rainy today. So, all right, let's see what we need to do. Uh, oh, and there's a little lemur. Look at how cute it is. Can I interact with him? Ah, he's adorable. Oh, he's so cute. Isn't that just, oh my gosh. Yeah, I would love to actually be able to interact with a ringtail lemur. I've seen some of them at the lemur rescue center over in uh, North Carolina, which is on the East Coast actually. But all right, so here's our zoo. Let's go ahead and take a good look at it. 
It doesn't look so bad so far. <gasps> Is that a baby? It's a baby rhino. Oh my gosh, we have a baby rhino. That is so cute. Okay, and then what do we have over here? <gasps> is that a tiger cub? Oh my goodness, there's tiger cubs and baby rhinos. Look at this elephant topiary. Wow. Okay, somebody has been taking good care of this. Uh, and we need breeding specialists to the exhibits for higher. <gasps> We're going to breed some animals. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. So it looks like we only have two exhibits right now. We have got uh, the rhinoceros exhibit. And let's go ahead. Can I like look at them? I want to look at the animals. Yes, please. I would like to view the animals. Oh my gosh, his name is Thor. Come on. That's too cute. That's too cute. All right. So we have Thor and then we have Churchill, who apparently is uh, Thor's dad. Look at that. This is so cool. Look at the way he's lying down. That's just awesome. Scooter the Bengal Tiger is now an adult. Uh-oh, he probably needs to be released then. Oh, but I should probably take a good view of the very last. There's Thor. There's Duke. Wait, they're all males? What? They're all males. That's not going to help my breeding efforts. <laughs> Definitely not going to help the breeding efforts like I wanted. Uh, all right, well, we'll have to do something about that. But let's see what the challenges we have are. So, recruit your stars. Adopt new animals for your zoo's poster campaign, including at least one species of lemur, one species of macaw, one species of peafowl, and at least one meerkat. I would love to get the meerkat. That sounds adorable. And then we need good things in small packages. Smaller animals thrive in mini exhibits. Build suitable mini exhibits for each of the requested animals. So that would be like the macaw and the peafowl. And I really want a meerkat, but I think they're absolutely adorable. How do you build the smaller exhibits? I, I don't know how to build them. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into build zoo. What? It's there's literally a button called mini exhibit. Has that always been there? Because I'm going to feel quite foolish if it has been. Um, okay, now this is interesting though. So there's literally a button called mini exhibit. I come and I look at it. Wait, so do I craft my own exhibit to make a mini exhibit? Is that how it works? And then you put the animal in? Huh. Okay, well actually let's go ahead and start doing some research on the bush grove. Uh, how much money do I have? A decent amount of money. And if I want to be able to add in, like, build zoo, exhibit, and I guess I would need, like, a little mini exhibit, and then to add in some of the animals. So, how would I add in... That's a good question, actually. Meerkats. What if I wanted to add in some meerkats? Here's our Bengal tigers. There's a savanna rock. A savanna rock might be a good spot to start thinking about adding meerkats in, right? Uh, and also, it looks like we need to add some more restrooms for our guest. Noted. I'll worry about that in the future. But I need to figure out how to, to add these little guys in and how to build a mini exhibit. So there's like small savanna exhibits. Oh man, am I really gonna have to go ahead? I might have to do the tutorial to figure out the mini exhibits. Cause now that I think about it, I have never, let's start doing research as soon as the bush grove exhibit is done. And we're gonna research the Savannah medium. But now that I think about it, wow, hang on a second. Look, there's like these really cool stairs. What? That's totally new. I've never seen these cool stairs before. Is that because this is a large exhibit? It must be because this is a big exhibit. That's so cool. The stairs that lead up to looking over the tigers. That's amazing. I want to be able to do cool stuff like that. Okay, we're going to... Let's just go big or go home. Let's start by throwing down maybe a small grasslands. Maybe that'll be enough. I'm just going to try putting down a small grasslands right here kind of connected to everything near everybody and I'm gonna see if I can actually let's connect get a meerkat in here and if I can't get a meerkat in here that tells me something pretty important I need to adopt a new animal not a giraffe please see and meerkats are not in here interesting none of the animals that I need are in here Hmm. 
curious curious and curiouser hmm let's actually can i view all of the animals view an animal in the exhibit no no no. i want to adopt new animals what if i want to be able to well and actually how can you customize this is this just changing the name oh that's right that's like you can change the paths and you can change everything around it by like randomizing it or you can set it to be like different types of trees which i think is kind of cool i like that they included a randomize button because it does make it feel sort of like a fast, fun, easy way to really make an area distinctive. But this is going to be a little bit of a problem. So let me check something real fast. I think I figured it out. Okay, I don't know if this is actually going to work or if this is a terrible idea. But I think what I need to do is actually come down here. Oh my gosh, I just destroyed half the entire zoo. <laughs> Okay, yes! So the mini exhibits weren't just rocks. For some reason, I thought they were like just decorative pieces, but sure enough, the mini exhibits actually can have animals in them. Look how tiny this thing is though. You can hardly decorate it at all, but you can add in a feeding station. Uh, in fact, I think it has like just a generic feeding station right here. You can't really like add in any toys or anything, which is a little bit of a bummer. But then you can come over here and you can adopt the new animals, the small animals. You guys have probably been telling me to do that for ages and I just completely missed it. So I'm very sorry it has taken me this long to realize that. But let's put in a wombat. Oh my gosh, a common wombat named Kiwi. Yes, that sounds so cute. Okay, so they like to be in groups. So we're going to need to adopt two wombats. Let's get chrysanthemum and kiwi. Because those sound... What? They're full? Okay. Oh, you can only have two of them. I can totally live with that though. All right, let's get down here. And I want to have a good, a good eye. I'm trying to remember how to take pictures like so. <gasps> Look at you. Oh, it's so cute, you guys. It is so ridiculously cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Did you see them? They're playing. The wombats are playing side by side. This is adorable. Okay, I am so happy I figured out how to do these mini exhibits. I was so frustrated. Like, I could not. Oh, it's looking straight at me. It's looking straight at me. This is too precious. I could not figure out how to, oh, look in these, this couple are like, oh, aren't those wombats cute? Oh, everybody loves the wombats. This was a very good choice. All right, but those are not actually any of the animals that are on our list to collect, but I figured out the mini exhibits. And a lot of you guys have probably been telling me that for a while, and I should probably go ahead and add an animal into this grassland just to make sure something's happening over here. It's a small grassland though. So you know what, actually, can I just go ahead? I'm just going to go ahead and sell it at a loss because uh, I don't like putting the animals in the small exhibits, even though that's exactly what we need to do now. So let's at least get, how about today we go for that meerkat or a peafowl and let's add in their mini exhibit so we can get this started. We're also going to need to begin research on a whole bunch of the other mini exhibits like the arid rock, arid pool, tropical lawn. I'm going to need to get our stars up as well in order to unlock more of these things. So you know what? It's important to have a giraffe. I really feel that it's very, very important to make sure that uh, our giraffes are always quite happy. Hmm. Savannah medium, though. Hmm. That's the only size I can have. Is this a savannah? Yeah, this is a savannah medium. Too small for my giraffes, if you ask me. Also full of poop. Need to scoop it. All right, there we go. Cleaned that up. Um, let's see. And then we've got our tigers. Yay! All right, our fame has increased. And look at that, just in time. We can get macaws, we can get a python. Our very first uh, snake would be amazing. So there we go, the South Chinese tiger has unlocked. Uh, I think there's other ways we could probably focus on getting fame up. Care and attention, raise the fame level to 10, take at least one photo of a lemur, macaw, peafowl, meerkat. Um, so I think it's kind of going to be a balance between the bigger animals to get people to come and visit our zoo and the smaller animals for the challenge. So, mini exhibit. Arid rock. Begin the research. Tropical tree. What can I do with you? This is a small little thing, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Tropical tree. Where to put ya? Where to put ya? Maybe right in here? I mean, that's kind of cute. All right, in you go. 
Let's go ahead and connect you up to a couple places. And over here. And then we'll go ahead and connect it right down here. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll customize it. I really like these blue bobble paths that are everywhere. So we'll do bobble paths. And then benches. Um, wow, let's do city benches. Nah, we're, we've got a little tropical tree and Ian benches just because trash cans, uh, city trash cans. <laughs> I love how you can customize all those things and I cannot wait until they give me more tropical trees. There should be more trees available for decorating over here. But all right, so let's come into the mini exhibit. What can I put in, in this mini exhibit? The monkeys, large snakes, macaws, trumpeter birds, what, sloths, this is so cool. Cockatoos can go in here to you. I haven't had a snake yet. I want to have a snake, but we need a macaw for our special, um, <gasps> a Cynthia macaws. Wow, I would love to have those guys too. But we should probably put some research into the blue and yellow macaw. Also, I wonder if there's a way... I actually haven't tried this yet, but is there like a way I can actually put down zookeeper center, breeding center research. The uh, vegetable feeding station at the Savannah Medium has run out of food. Whoops, all right, time to come and scoop the poop for our rhinoceri. And then exhibit items, animal care. I need to refill? This is a bird cleaning station. Oh, wow, I didn't know that the bird cleaning stations needed refilled too. Oh, and we can put down more feeding stations over here or more things for our rhinos to enjoy. What would they enjoy actually? Maybe a new enrichment item. We'll put down a new enrichment item in a bit. Oh, and then I can upgrade these things so I don't have to worry about like actually refilling them as much. Oh, all of that awesome animal, animal fun is starting to come back to me. All right, rhinos, what would you guys like? Oh my gosh, there's so much we can give them. Oh, see, it feels like I've taken a long time to start learning what to do, but we're gonna get there, you guys. We're gonna be able to take good care of all of our animals. All right, let's come in and where's my wombats? I wanna coo over the wombats just one more time before we go today. Oh my gosh, they already have wombat poos. Tiny little wombat poos that need cleaned up. All right, look at you guys. They're gonna play! They're playing again! Oh, that's so cute! Oh my gosh! And it looks like they're they're pretty popular, all considering. Yeah, I think that these guys were good additions. They do seem like the guests really enjoy watching them too. They're like gigantic guinea pigs, which, oh, look at the kid in the rhinoceros outfit in the background. That's adorable. But they're kind of like giant guinea pigs. So that definitely endears them to me because I love guinea pigs. But all right, so we're figuring this out. I have finally unlocked the secret of the mini exhibits. Let's see, can I get my macaw in here this time? Adopt new animal, macaws. Blue and gold macaw? I can! Oh my gosh, let's get this one named Steve. He sounds amazing. The blue and yellow macaw is a large species of parrot native to South America. On it! And can we get him Aaron to go with it, him so that he's not alone? Because they should be in like a big social group if you ask me. <gasps> there they are! They're already together! Oh, this is amazing! <gasps> Wow, I love their tree. I really love their tree. Look at how nice this is. Oh, this is so cool. I'm very happy with this outcome, actually. They, they seem like they're very happy birds up there, too. Nice. All right. So our macaws are settled in. I now figured out how to get snakes. I love this tropical tree. I want to rebuild this in zoo crafting. Oh my gosh. And time is going by. So next time we are going to have to really hoof it and try to cover a few more of the things that we need to do here. Thankfully, I actually have the pictures of the macaws. So we're like a fourth of the way there technically, but we are going to need to focus on getting that fame up, which is going to require some bigger animals, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, I think we're to do this. So all right guys, if you could please toss a like to toss a treat to our lovely new macaws and our wombats. Consider joining our zookeeping team and maybe becoming one of my janitors. Oh my gosh, I need to make sure I hire janitors. 
holy messy zoo by subscribing and joining us for all of our adventures and let me know what you think we should do to really rev up the fame on this our newest challenge so that we can unlock some more challenges and get some of those special items for our future freeform zoo when we will tackle a challenge zoo all on our own and be able to build whatever the heck we want so i'll see you guys next time Bye bye <laughs>